See, in the 1930s, Cuba was the richest Latin American country, but in addition to being America's island playground, there was a huge wealth gap. That caused revolutionaries like Che Guevara and Fidel Castro to revolt and start a communist government. They signed a treaty with the Soviets for trade, protection, and arms. America didn't like that, so the CIA tried to invade in 1962, but failed. The Soviets then sent nukes to Cuba and that almost caused World War III. Luckily, everyone backed down. The damage was done though. America broke full ties with Cuba and placed trade sanctions on its ships and tourists dealing with Cuba. At first, Russia was its biggest trading partner, but after the fall of the Soviet Union, another country stepped in and filled the void. Can you guess who? The whole debate on whether to restore trade with Cuba has raged on for years. The embargo and prohibited travel has even ripped apart whole families and lives. Just ask any of the many residents of South Florida who have Cuban descent. Many U.S. presidents have attempted to normalize relations with Cuba, but it seems Obama had been talking in secret for months to get this deal to happen. He and Castro agreed to start releasing each other's political prisoners and former spies as soon as possible, meaning immediately, as a sign of good faith. Next, the framework will be laid to ease banking restrictions in order to help families in America send money back to Cuba, along with enabling businesses to invest and tourists to spend. This also means the reopening of embassies and consulates will be in the offing as well. It's reported that the Vatican and Canada also had a hand in brokering today's agreement. This won't be a cakewalk, though. First, Obama needs to get the deal past a majority GOP Congress that could stop any of this from happening anytime soon. And also, it's not like the U.S. is the only game in town. Many other countries have had open ties with Cuba for decades. There's also the question of what kind of leverage the U.S. can use to force Cuba to do the right thing once full ties are restored. Sure, Cuba will probably have a Starbucks on every corner afterwards, but please try to remember what got us here in the first place. Extra action, extra insanity, extra perversion.